Body weight is 290.6 pounds. Hey friend, it's Demetra. Welcome or welcome back to Journey to Self. Thank you for clicking on this video. And in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick check-in with you guys for the 36 hour fasting challenge that we're on right now. I'm about 16 hours into my fast and it will break in the morning about 8.15 because I ate late last night. Um, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I do have a um, light migraine. And I just wonder if that has something to do with electrolytes. So I am going to get some of those, um, today, but I have ocular migraines anyway. So it may just be what it normally is. It may have nothing to do with my fasting. I really need to do some research on that. So I wanted to, as well as doing a quick check-in and, and drop in the comments below and let me know how you guys are doing on your fasting challenge for today. And if you want to do another challenge, maybe next week for uh, maybe a seven-day fasting challenge or something like that. I'm still just kind of collecting my thoughts on what type of challenges I want to do with the fasting and maybe even some fitness challenges since I just joined the gym which we're going today. Uh, so I'll try to get some footage while we're there. But moving on, I wanted to give you an update. I talked to you before about how I'm doing the 12 week year. And um, I started that on April the 1st. Today is April the 17th. So we're just a few days over two weeks. So about two weeks ago on April the 1st, I weighed in at 300.4 pounds. And today on April the 17th, I weighed at 290.6 pounds. That is a loss of 9.8 pounds in 17 days. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. So that's basically my update for a little over two weeks on being on ADF, I did, I have stuck to ADF every day except one day. That was the day that we went to see Cat Williams and we, it was a date night and we did grab some White Castles, which I mentioned to you guys, because like every day is not going to look the same. And if you do mess up on a day, like I did, um, you just pick up and move along, start over the next day. And you don't have to feel like that all of your results are shot just because you didn't uh, do it perfectly because we're all, you know, progress over perfection. We're all a work in progress. So don't beat yourself up if you get out of your fasting and have to start over, then don't beat yourself up about that. I wanted to look at my, reassess my goals on the 12 week year. I uh, wanted to lose 30 pounds in the 12 weeks. That was my goal. I have lost the 9.8 pounds. So that leaves me with 20.6 pounds to lose to meet my 12 week year goal by, let's see, June 30th will be 12 weeks. So I, I'm very confident that I will meet my goal uh, if I keep up how I have been doing. My cycle came about a week ago and I want to figure out how to plan for that. I've got a couple of ideas, maybe some low carb that week or um, something like that to kind of offset my cycle because I did carry extra fluid that week and my weight was up that week. But as soon as uh, my cycle was over, then um, the weight dropped right off. So that's just temporary and you know why it's there, especially if you're doing everything that you're supposed to do. Don't get discouraged. You just know that it's because your cycle's here and it will pass when your cycle um, goes away. Now, my cravings increased that week as well. And I just really had to fight through them. I don't really have any suggestions yet about that. But remember, I'm nobody's expert. I'm just a girl documenting my journey on here, letting you know how things are going. So I did have some cravings and I just tried to fight those. I am taking a supplement uh, called Berberine. I've been on that for about two weeks and I don't feel like it really helped the, like f with my appetite or anything the week of my cycle. But besides that it has, I'm going to continue to take that. And I've also been taking a shot of apple cider vinegar every day as well. And the one with the mother and what both of those things do is it helps regulate your blood sugar and helps to, suppress your appetite and to fight 
cravings. So I will keep you posted on how those things are going. So I have roughly two and a half months to lose 20.6 pounds. And I feel like that is totally doable. I'm not doing anything special on my feast days right now. I'm just m being mindful of what I eat. I had pre-measured and weighed uh, my salad because I do prep my salads for like three or four days at a time so that I know when I eat a salad, this is 240 calories, uh, but I'm not like measuring anything else. or I'm not counting calories in general because of my freezer meals. I can't, I don't have a calculation for what those are worth. I just always buy like a lower calorie version of something and things like that to know that my calories are staying low. And I, I don't really eat a lot during the day anyway. I don't have an appetite to have breakfast. So I just have my coffee creamer, which is worth 30 calories. I have that in the morning. I have the salad that is 240 calories. And that normally sustains me. I may throw like some cottage cheese in there for about another 100 calories to get in some added protein. And then I also will do sometimes um, a Greek yogurt, which is about 80 calories for 12 or 13 grams of protein. So I want to get my protein up as well. Um, but that's really it as far as what my plan is. I'm very happy with the weight that I've lost. And today, as far as our fasting challenge, so that's all I have for you as far as my weight and the update with that. Uh, the fasting challenge, I hope that everyone is doing well. I know that I'm recording this around noon. Um, I started fasting at 8.15 last night. And so I will be, my fast will be over at 8.15 tomorrow morning. And all I have, which I have, whether I'm fasting or feasting, is that coffee with the creamer in it. And then I won't have anything until lunch and I have that salad. And then I, I don't really snack a lot um, because snacking for me is a trigger um, to get off track. So, uh, and and I just haven't really wanted or needed to snack. I don't know if it's the berberine or the apple cider vinegar or just the fasting uh, itself that I'm going longer without food. And I could really tell a difference this morning when I got dressed that, you know, the scale is down about 9.8 pounds since I started this, but um, I have less bloating and everything else. I could really tell in my stomach when I put my pants on that, uh, which is where I carry my weight. I carry my weight in my stomach and in my face like that. So, um, yeah, there, that's how I'm doing with my fasting. I'm really still enjoying alternate day fasting. I feel like that this could truly be my lifestyle and really quickly. And then I'll wrap up this video. How I'm getting through ADF is by staying busy. And, but I'm a very like detail organ, detail oriented, <laughs> organized planning type of person. So I like to know what my week is going to look like. So I've already decided that on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'll be working on content creation and making videos that'll keep me busy and everything between filming and editing and brainstorming and all of those things. Those things will keep me busy on my fasting days to where before I know it, the day has went by and I don't ha I haven't thought about food and I've been productive. So I'm also going to implement on those days, like the other goals that I want to meet, reading more, um, self-care, things like that. So, and then on my feasting days, like those days are already busy enough as it is. So I uh, don't need to add anything else to those days. Um, but yeah, that's my two week update for my ADF alternate day fasting journey. If you guys want to drop in the comments how you are doing on your journey. If you have started it yet, are you a veteran? And you can give us some tips. Uh, and if you could also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Mwah.